Hello, folks. This is Steve A.B. Poriel. Nothing in this episode is a promotion, nor is it a recommendation, but it kind of bears on something that's been happening right outside there on U.S. 64 and in these these neighborhoods. You know that I have did a series about the laying of the conduit in preparation for fiber to the curb. First, they came along 64 on the south side, which is my side, and then up the road here, and they've been going down the road there and further along there. And also, I was in Asheboro today, and not only do they are they putting it in town in Franklinville, but I see them all various neighborhoods in Asheboro. So what's that got to do with this article? This is WRAL. It's a major league. It's one of the largest TV stations in North Carolina. I used to watch it all the time when I still had a TV set when I lived in Raleigh. They're uh, just off just off campus from NC State. Fiber internet provider commits fifty million for Johnson dash Harnett County network. Johnson County, Raleigh is in Wake County, directly south of that is Johnson County. And then if you go a little further down, think Fort Bragg, Harnett County, although Fort Bragg might be called something else now. So I'm reading it and I see, and I see a key word, fiber optics, Broadband Lumos. High Point. Now, High Point, if I go 25, 30 miles north of here, it's Greensboro High Point. Think of them as this is the little sister to Greensboro. High Point's known for its furniture show. High Point. More fiber. High-speed networking opportunities are coming to the Triangle region. Triangle is Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, Research Triangle Park. I used to work in Research Triangle Park at one time. With Johnson and Harnett counties getting a $50 million plus investment from a high point based Lumos. That's the name of the telephone company. So then they they say who which communities they're going to be laying it in, and actually I've been to all of them. And then it says, and this impinges on what's happening here. Lumos has steadily has been steadily expanding its fiber networks across North Carolina. So what's been going on here locally is a part of a bigger picture. Now, I knew it was Lomos doing the work out here because when they were working, one day I talked to a supervisor and I asked him who was actually doing it because I had a wrong idea. I was wondering if it was Spectrum, which is my current company. And there is already a fiber optic cable down that road owned by Spectrum. And he said Lumos. So I went and looked it up. The company formerly known as North State Communications. Well, frankly, 30 years ago, that is the telephone company name that I knew. Recently announced expansion plans for the Wilmington area. Now, that's down at the coast. And also, it's committed $50 for expansion in Orange and Durham counties. If you go... Slightly northwest from Raleigh, that's Durham County. And then if you continue east along 40, coming in the Greensboro direction, that's Orange County. So it says here, now this is the propaganda part, but it bears on what I'm seeing. Lumos is changing the definition of internet connection with communities across North Carolina. We believe that all towns, not just big, all towns, not just big cities, should have access to a fast and reliable broadband connection, so on and so on. 
So this is part of a larger expansion. Now, why would I even care? I've said it before. When I worked for that internationally known, internationally operating IT company, I went to work for them in the 1990s. Early on, they offered employees, remember I said Research Triangle Park, Raleigh, Durham, I li- Chapel Hill, I lived in Raleigh, ADSL, Asymmetric Digital Service Line, was just coming to Raleigh. And they offered to pay the monthly edition if I would order it. And obviously the reason for that was they could get us to work off hours if they had a need for our skills. Or suppose you have winter snow and you can't get to work, but you could still work from home because they would also help you with your computer and having the software you need. So this stuff about with the COVID and uh, work from home for protection and now New York City tenancy in the office buildings is 50% and they don't know what they're going to do because people don't, people continue on to work from home and not go back into the office. Blah, 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 blah. So in a way, it was kind of the reverse thing back in the 1990s. And my installation at my apartment I was right there with the techs and watched them as they did it. They told me it was amongst the first 10 in Raleigh. So something like this is of continuing interest to me. Again, it's not that I'm promoting it. It's just a continuation of the story. Steve A.B. Foyal. Just letting... Just watching the passing scene and enjoying it, saying see you in 73.